the idea of perception can be, I think, broken down into three parts. The first aspect, I think three directions, three areas, three domains really. The first area is extraception. Extraception, as the name implies, is perception which is of entities beyond the surface of the skin, outside, in the exterior. Uh, and so the five senses conventionally considered as sensory modes are all extraceptive senses. I did pop to go in overhead, I'll see if I can get it in shot. Extraceptive modes. Seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, and tasting. And the distance uh, which these things exist outside the body, the, uh, the relative distance of proximity to that extraception operates at, partly depends upon which of those sensory modes we're at. Seeing is probably the most uh, distant extraceptive mode. I can see the, I can see the sun, for God's sake, that's 93 million miles away. I can see that helicopter just going over the top of some rooftops, probably three quarters of a mile away by now. So, extraceptive seeing it operates at quite some distance, and the other senses stack up closer and closer to the surface of my skin. Hearing, I can hear quite a distance. I can still see the helicopter, actually, but I can't hear it any longer. When things get a bit closer, I start to smell them. Um, when they get within about two feet of me, I can touch them and grasp them. And when they get really up close and personal, I can taste them, of course. And taste is a funny one, because that's... It's almost inside my body. It has to be inside my mouth, certainly, for me to taste it. But I can spit it out. I still have some control. So those are the ex uh, ex ex extra sections. The internal side of perception, the domain that operates within the body, interoception, is those feelings that we're most of the time not really aware of unless they change dramatically. You know, when your heart suddenly starts to race, or your guts suddenly start to churn, or you suddenly want to go to the toilet very badly, um, suddenly get very breathless, so you get a stabbing pain in the small of your back, something like that. They tend to be more generalized. We tend not to focus on those very much. Uh, they are very important, apparently. I know there's some research being carried out which suggests there's a close relationship between one's ability to uh, pay attention to one's interoceptive signals and one's ability to be empathetic to other people. Not quite sure why that relationship would exist, but apparently it does. If you're able to, if you're sensitive to your own inner feelings, you're sensitive to other people's also somehow. So that's uh, extraception and interoception. And between these, there's proprioception. Proprioception is the body's awareness of its own orientation. So I'm aware, for example, that I'm holding this camera uh, about 18 inches from my face. And even when I close my eyes, I can still feel my arm supporting that camera. It's starting to wear it, actually. Um, it's also the sense of balance, which is produced by the canals inside the ears and other organs of the body. Uh, as I understand it, there are sensors in all the joints and in the muscles which give indications of uh, position, relative location, uh, tension, those kind of things. It's proprioception which allows it to stick an egg up without crushing it or to ski or to walk without falling over as I'm just about managing right now, even though it's a very muddy surface. Um, yeah, proprioception seems to be a kind of boundary state between exteroception and interoception. The orientation and positioning of the instrument and perception.